In the game I made for Ludum Dare 4T, I had this cat spray uh, particle system on the game over screen. And I wanted to explain how you can have these um, spray fountains that you can rotate and the gravity still works because by default when you create a particle system it's not going to work this way. Let me hide this. We're going to create this from scratch. So we have to create a particles 2D node first. And when you create a particle system, the first thing you'll see is this warning sign. It tells you that um, Godot doesn't have a material to know how to spawn the particles. So we're going to create this, go down the particles to the node, and under the process material category, you have the material property. Click this and create a new particles material. New shader material would let you control how the particles spawn with code and particles material lets you do this with properties. Before we enter the material, we're going to change the texture. It's right below the process material. So drag and drop a sprite of your choice on the slot. Now the cat is spawning up there. I'm going to move it down the screen on it a little bit and by default it just has a little bit of gravity. Let's click on the material slot to enter it and you can see one thing once you're inside of it uh, under the spread category we have a spread value of 45. This means that the cat should spawn and uh, go in a di direction random one within a 90 degree scone pointing to the right. Right now it's not doing so or we can't really see it. The reason for it is the initial velocity. It's set to 1 which in 3D means 1 unit per second but uh, in the 2D engine it means 1 pixel per second so it's a very tiny value. If we crank it up to something like 400 you will start to see the cat spawn like that and go on the right. Next, we have some gravity right above the initial velocity and this controls the gravity that makes our cats fall. And we can increase the y value. Remember that the y-axis points down, so a positive value will pull the cats down. Let's use a value of 600, something a bit bigger, and you can start the cats do a bit more of a curve. So we have the base for our fountain. What happens if we rotate this? Uh, everything rotates with the node. The reason is that particles use local coordinates by default. Imagine that all the cats are kinds of nodes and uh, they are children of the particle system. So um, they follow the particle system, rotate with it, move with it. So the same thing, if I move the particles, you can see that all the particles move alongside it. Now we have to use something called world coordinates. We need each particle to handle itself, its own coordinates, for it to not move with the particle system. So let us click the back arrow to go back to the particles to the node. And the property we're looking for is under the drawing category. It's called local coordinates. It's on by default. And if we deactivate it, Nothing changes, just the system reinitializes. But now there's a big difference. If I move the system, the cats stay in their trajectory, okay? They get emitted from the particles to the node, but they will retain their velocity, their position, their rotation. And if I rotate the system, the gravity still applies the same. It's not related to the particles node itself. It's always pointing down, regardless of, ex of the spawn position. So that's one thing to know uh, in Godot compared to some other engines. You're going to use the node itself and world coordinates to have the particles um, spawn and move in a certain direction and be affected by gravity.